Hey everybody, got a video here and it's a challenge for everybody that has rabbits or chickens and you can do this for other livestock. Uh, you know I've been listening to uh, podcast interviews and some other thing, read some stuff online about um, doing sprouts for your chickens and I started looking into it for your rabbits too and uh you know, it's really nutritious for us humans to do it, so why not for the uh, animals too? I like to think of this seed like it's an egg, and once it's the plant hatches from this egg, it's going to uh, start converting all these starches that are in here into uh, proteins and other minerals and vitamins. When we feed it, you know, in this form right here to our animals, they're mostly getting starches. And it's not really easily digestible. But yet once we sprout it, and this is two days, really. This is the second day. And you can see it's starting to sprout. Now this is just oats. That's all I could get. I went to my local seed and feed shop. And all they had in whole grains was uh, oats or corn. So I went with the oats. A 12 pound bat, or... 50 pound bag cost me roughly $12. I spend probably about a dollar more for my pellets or crumbles or whatever I get. Um, I got this brand here that I usually get. Uh, depending on sales and stuff, it's usually anywhere from $13 to $18. And this is, of course, my uh, mix for my meat birds. It's 22% protein. And, uh, doesn't have any antibiotics or hormones, but it does have prebiotics, probiotics, and uh, other things to kind of help with the uh, immune system and and all this stuff. But I don't really know what goes into this. But uh, because there's a lot of companies that are, I, I bait. I think they're kind of based out of Australia, where the rabbit tree is. Rabbit meat is becoming very popular, and so um, they're kind of advertising fodder systems for rabbits and stuff. They're pretty expensive. Farm Tech has a video here on YouTube, and it shows a guy with like 12 chickens, and how he has, so he's a hobby chicken keeper, and he has this fodder system that they sell, and it's about $4,000. I am not going to spend $4,000 on 12 chickens. I'm not going to spend $4,000 on my 50 chickens. Uh, but according to one of those websites, it's uh, foddersolutions.org. They're using barley grass. And they do it for six days to get the peak nutrition. So you're actually going to be growing a little bit of grass, which is why I suggest it for rabbits. Uh, increase your the health, give more energy, stimulate immune response, provide antioxidants. I can't ever say that word. Um, and it's got like 20% protein, 4% fat, 11% fiber, 15% starch. Um, and there's quite a few other things on there. I didn't even write it all down. I'm using oats. I can't find anything for oats. I was able to find something for uh, sprouted wheat. About one cup of wheat is uh, roughly 15% uh, starch, carbohydrates and starch, pretty much the same thing. 5% fiber, 2% fat, and 16% protein. So just based off of that alone, uh, something like wheat would be really good to feed to your layers because a lot of your layer feed is 16% protein and you know, 20% protein in your uh, barley. That's pretty good for uh, your broiler chickens. Um, it's just a little bit lower than what uh, most of your meat bird mixes are. Um, right now, of course, I said I'm, uh, I only got oats. But eventually, uh, a lot of people will do a mix like uh, wheat and oats or barley and uh, black sunflower seeds. So you got a, a pretty good mix. Uh, I've even heard of people doing things like uh, 
uh, peas so they can get that more protein into the mix. Uh, let's see what else. So obviously you're going to get more volume out of it. Um, this is about two and a half cups. This is three cups. I'm playing around here. See how far I can get it to go. And um, as this goes along, it's going to grow. You're going to get a lot more volume. It's going to start growing stuff on top of it. You know, uh, for those of you who keep rabbits, there's a website. I can't remember the name of it. This guy raising meat rabbits when he switched them, or actually he added uh, one of those fodder systems that's real expensive, uh, and started to pit the fodder down as part of their supplement. And so they eat the fodder, they eat timothy hay, they eat pellets. And basically the mothers start producing more milk, so the kits put on more weight. Uh, and he was basically able to shave two weeks off of how much time it took him to get to five, five and a half pounds. And his feed bill was like $760 every three weeks for 50 does and 70 kits. Now it's roughly the same, but he's raising what is it, 90 does and 250 kits. Once he put, put the does on the sprouting, on the fodder, um, they started producing larger litters. They went from like 6 to 8 to 8 to 12 kits per litter. So uh, definitely something that's a lot more valuable. Um, and of course, you know, like I said, he's feeding a lot more animals now. And his cost didn't go up. That bag, compared to this bag, this will definitely go a lot longer than what this bag will. And so I'll be saving quite a bit of money that way. Anyways, I just started this uh, a couple days ago, so I'll do a follow-up video for you, show you how I'm doing it. But until then, it's been Josh.